we play Baylor, and a couple questions have come up to my mind. Uh, last year, we did start off the first four games of the season two and two with losses, two straight losses to Texas and U of H, and we are in that same hole this year, two and two after four games, losing to Iowa State fifty-two to thirty-eight after a bye week, which is a week off. Um, definitely not what I expected coming off of that bye week. Uh, a fifty-two point giving up 52 points to Iowa State. Um, that's just something that can't happen if you're going to compete in the Big 12. You can't give up that many points. Uh, Tech did outplay them offensively. They had more offensive yards than Iowa State did, but Iowa State just kept our defense on the field and our offense off of it. Taylor Potts threw uh, five touchdowns, uh, three of which were to Lyle Leong. Um, one was to Eric Stevens, I know. Or maybe four of them were... He threw a bunch to Leong. Um, definitely that guy is a playmaker. Those two have a connection that goes back, I think they said, to even middle school. I know they played high school ball together, but middle school to college, that's some crazy time to get to know someone. And um, that definitely helps out our team chemistry with guys like that uh, that have played for so long. That's definitely going to help out in the long run. But this week against Baylor, uh, they do have Robert Griffin back, who is uh, – out last year because he tore his ACL and Baylor is coming off a 55 to 7 win over Kansas. Um, if we can shut Robert Griffin down, I have no doubt in my mind that we can win this game. But if Robert Griffin and the Baylor offense keeps our defense on the field and gets them tired out early, we might be in for a very long day in uh, the Cotton Bowl playing Baylor. So it all just comes down to Execution is the word in my mind, the, the, the word of the week that Tech needs to do. Execution. Offensively, we executed pretty well against Iowa State. Defensively, not so much. Our defense lacks aggressiveness. That, I mean, you'd think a defensively-minded guys in uh, James Willis and Tommy Tuberville would blitz more often, get pressure on the quarterback. Pressure on Robert Griffin is going to be a key thing because – uh, containment, not so much pressure, but containment. Because if you do get pressure, he has legs where he can run out of the pocket and hurt you on the ground. So uh, if we can contain Robert Griffin and uh, not let him make big plays with his, with his legs or his arms, I definitely think we can win this game. But like I said, if Robert Griffin runs all over us like he did two years ago, we're in for a long day. Um, other than Robert Griffin, Baylor doesn't have much defensively. They aren't that great. So uh, if Taylor Potts and or Steven Sheffield can pick apart the Baylor secondary, uh, I think we roll to a win. But the problem with thinking you're going to blow out a team like Tech probably thought they were going to blow out Iowa State, that can come back to hurt you because those teams, they have nothing to lose except a loss and the loss column. Uh, that's all they would gain from uh, losing. But winning... They gain that. They gain that. Hey, we beat Texas Tech. Um, having that said, uh, teams that I think that we play, um, we let down. Um, we get tired. We let down defensively. We kind of quit. Uh, defense helped us in the game against Texas. Without defense, we definitely would have even been close. Offense played terrible in that game. But in the Iowa State game, offensive played great. Defense doesn't help out. You gotta have both the both of uh, the defense and the offense contributing together in order to win a game in the Big Twelve. Uh, Tommy Tuberville is talking about championships. I don't think that's gonna happen this year with the way OU is running the conference. I definitely think Texas will probably lose to Nebraska. Just what I think. Um, when I can't even think of the last time they lost three straight. So. Uh, Texas fans, y'all might be in for a long year. Uh, so my Tech fans, I mean, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, did ex I didn't ex I did expect them to go ten and two this year. A uh, bit of a broad uh, say. Um, I don't. I definitely don't see that happening anymore. Nine and four with a win in a bowl game would be a great season. Possibly ten and three with a win in a bowl game. I just want to make it to a bowl game, guys. Because honestly. I know y'all are probably thinking, hey, great confidence in your team, but my team hasn't shown me much this year. I mean, yeah, we've scored points. Uh, we put up points on the board. Our defense has looked a little bit better at times, but basically we're reverting to the same thing that we had last year, which was a very good offense and a very poor defense. We just need to execute. 
execution, like I said, that's the word of the week, probably the word of the year. If we don't execute, we don't win, win games. It's as simple as that. Um, offensive line, hell of a job against Iowa State. Without y'all, Mickey Okafor, Chris Olsen, Justin, or Keon, um, like Adrian Waddle. Without y'all guys, we don't have anything. Uh, y'all stepped out uh, tremendously in that game, and y'all helped us make a comeback. Unfortunately, we fell short and lost 2-2 uh, two and two on the season. Been in this hole before. I think we can dig out and uh, play well against Baylor this week and get some momentum uh, for the rest of the season. Uh, we'll see how it goes, guys. Reckon Tech, I'm out of here. One last word before I go. Les Miles needs to learn how to manage the clock. Y'all take that how you want. I am out. Later.